Let's say we want to sketch y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 21. So, we know that because this has an x squared in it, and that's the largest power, that it's going to be parabolic in shape. So it's going to be a parabola. We can also use the techniques um, that we've learned for straight line equations. So when x is 0, I can substitute in x as 0 to find out what y is equal to. And y would be equal to minus 21. That means it crosses the y-axis at minus 21. I also want to be able to find where it crosses the x-axis. So that's when I substitute y is equal to 0 into the equation. So I get 0 is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 21. Now, without knowing how to go from there, that's not really going to be of much good to me. But, I do know how to factorise. So, this equation can be factorised. And it would be x plus 7 times x minus 3. Now, if this is equal to 0, that would mean that either this bracket is 0 or that bracket is 0. Okay? They can't both be zero at the same time. So there will be values of x that I substitute in that will give me that zero or that zero. So either x plus 7 is zero, in which case x is minus 7, or x minus 3 is zero, in which case x is 3. And so this is telling me that I have one point minus 7, 0, that is of interest to me, and the other point is 3, 0. This is where it crosses the x-axis. So we're now in a position where we can sketch the curve. If it's going through minus 7 and 3, then it must look something like this. Minus 7 and 3. It's going through minus 21 on the y-axis, okay, and we can tell that the vertex is to the left of the y-axis because the curve is symmetric. Because there's that line of symmetry, um, and it's going through 3 and minus 7, that must mean that the line of symmetry that goes through the vertex must be halfway between those two points, okay? So, if you're looking for the average of those two points, it would be minus 2. 5 that units either side. Okay, so x is equal to minus 2 would be the line of symmetry of this curve. So you can see that we already have a lot of abilities here. We are able to find out where the curve crosses the y-axis, we can find out where the curve crosses the x-axis as long as the algebra allows us to factorise it. Okay? And we're going to be looking at this in more detail and learning some more methods in the coming videos.